Today in class, I said I'd do a problem and send you out an example, and I'm going to try to do that here. Sorry, the audio quality is not that great. Um, so the idea is we want to calculate the total area under the graph of x squared minus 1 as an interval from 0 to 3. Okay. So we know total area is the definite integral of the absolute value of the function. Okay. So we need to see how this works. So first I'm going to graph x squared minus 1, not in absolute values, just the function. So it at 0, it's negative 1, so it's up here. And at 3, it's up at 8. And it's a continuous function, so it's going to cross the x-axis somewhere here. Okay. But what we can see is that this under the graph is going to be have a positive area, and this here is going to have a negative area but we want to just calculate the two-dimensional areas unsigned, um, and that's what the absolute value does for us. So the first thing I want to do is find out where this crosses. Okay, so I'm going to take the function x squared minus 1 and set it equal to 0. Right, That's where I, we get an x-intercept. And I did this in class. I rewrote the left-hand side that way and used the idea that when a product equals 0, then one factor is zero, or the other factor is zero. And so we get x equals negative one, or x equals one. Since we're on the interval from zero to three, the uh, first one is irrelevant, and it's the other one that's our solution. So our graph must cross to x equals one. So what this means is that we're going to take our interval, or our integral, and we're going to break it up at 1. Okay? So what this does is it allows us to say, on the interval from 0 to 1, I know my function is negative. That is, this thing is negative. Okay? And on the interval from 1 to 3, I know this function is positive. So I can use the definition of absolute value and write this. And write this. And then now I just do the math. So the first integral I'm going to simplify. And the second integral, I'm going to start uh, calculating. And we're just off to the races. So we get 3 cubed over 3 minus 3 minus 1 third times 1 cubed minus 1. I'm going. Continue computing. And there we go. That's our final area. The, the total area of the region defined by my graph. Hope that's helpful.